of the shift housing that goes on top of your transmission. And what you're looking at right here are the shift forks. Now these engage the shift collars that are on the main shaft in the transmission. And this is what lets you select a gear. Basically, the stick that you're used to seeing inside a manual vehicle is going to be right here. And that's going to control these shift forks. Now, I know it doesn't make a lot of sense just looking at it like that, so come on over here. This is the transmission that that comes off of. Now you can see it's all a bunch of gears. Right here we have the input shaft, and this is where power comes into the transmission. The power comes in, we start out with this main input gear right here, and that's going to send power two different directions, over to the counter shafts. Now we got two counter shafts in here because it helps support the power load. Basically when it comes in and it goes two different directions, we're splitting power 50-50. So this counter shaft has half the power, and this counter shaft has half the power. Right now we're in neutral. These sliding collars down here, they're not meshed into any gear. So if I turn this input shaft, you see everything turns, but our main shaft isn't turning. Now all these gears are in constant mesh, and right now power's not going anywhere. It's just in the counter shafts, and it's turning our gears. So I'm going to select first gear. Now in the truck, you shift it in the first using the forks on that uh, shift cover. So I'm going to slide in the first here. There we go. And now what we have is power coming into the input, into the uh, input gear through our counter shafts and since we've got a direct linkage to go out now power is going to come from our counter shafts into first gear be transferred through this sliding collar which is splined to the main shaft down here and now as you can see we have got output at where the drive shaft is now it doesn't go directly out of this front box what we actually have an auxiliary box back here as well that gives us a high range and a low range. You can see this is our selector which is attached to this arm. You can select high and low range here and it's the same way. You basically got an input gear that's going to split the power 50-50 to two counter shafts and then those counter shafts are spline either to the low range gear or to the high range gear. And once it goes and transfers power through those, we come out. And it's constantly like that as the transmission's going. So say you're going from first to second, the clutch is going to go in, you're going to take it out of first gear. So you can see we're free spin again. And now we're going to select second gear with our next sliding collar up here. Once second gear is selected, we still have output, but at a different speed now. Because of the different gear ratio. That's how a transmission basically works on and on through third, fourth, and then fifth. And then you can change from fifth going to what we would call our sixth gear by going to your high range and then progressing back through the same set of gears again. So that's how power flows through transmission. Thanks. I hope you have a good